I'm sat here with Paul Wood, who has a variety of roles in life, but also in conference. You are, I see you in conference, running around like a swan, <laughs> because you walk around so smoothly and calmly, but I know like, you, there's a real purpose, something's going on. What, what do you do at conference? Well, I guess my real job is to coordinate the worship, so it's worship coordinator. So um, I work with the president and vice president before the conference to plan all the worship, to think about what they want it to feel like to do, and, and then to liaise with the sort of technical side. So we, we talk about the worship a few months for an adult industry, but then uh, a lot of people land into the conference space at a different time and want to know how do I fit into this bit, how do I do it. So I hope you don't see too much running, because really if I'm running it, then that's really when it's going well. It should just like be running smoothly, but just occasionally you might see something that's happened to just go, oh, can you do that? So mainly that's my job, to make the, the worship work. But because it's working with the technical guys who are really great at what they're doing that, and working with the top table so they know what's going on, it's that sort of oiling the work during the week and just try, trying to make it all fit in and go that way. So you've got the inside goss on what's going on and what's working well and what are the challenges. So what can you share with us without getting into too much trouble? <laughs> but that's cruel. <laughs> um, well, I guess that the, the biggest challenge is to make sure that the folk who are watching online yeah feel that they're here you know because it's it is one conference it's not that conference and this conference yeah. um, but of course we have some peculiarities within the conference which is that sometimes we imagine that because we're in the space we're here you know so there's no sort of welcome we're just on with it you know and um, i know that that's been rubbing a little bit you know with the folk um, online sort of like well nobody's acknowledged us yeah well that's because we didn't acknowledge these folk either in the room you know but they, there's those sort of quirky things which are historic actually it's part of you know with a band of questions or whatever so there are bits like that that tend to make the sweat and just occasionally so one of the things you, you know you asked me about the swan like stuff is when somebody goes, so who's going to answer this question uh, from <laughs> online? And there's sort of, um, at the moment, 100 and odd people there, and we're like, well, it's one of those people, we'll just have to try and work it out. So, uh, so you get those just little bits that occasionally just don't go. And then um, one of the gifts I think I have in this um, whole setup is I just make answers up, yeah? So I make them up, and nobody seems to argue, and that just seems to work. So don't tell anybody, but that's really what I'm doing, okay? I'm just like, yeah, this is what it happens. And people seem to think that I know, but don't really, I just make it sound so, so a message for everybody at home if you, if you if you are participating online or if you're watching on the live feed you it's as if we feel as if you're here you are very very much part of absolutely and i mean you can't see as, as the current shot is but up around the side of the room yeah. the, the zoom screen show so that people yeah. are there so be careful what you're doing you know if you're doing some dodgy thing on you know <laughs> at, your, at your desk we can see you so people often are looking up there um, we are also beaming every so often and we'll be doing in the opening of sessions and um, services. Um, we will put some sort of montage pictures up so that, for example, when the World Church um, partners come, they'll all be put up on screen with them picture. Because we didn't want to just put just photographs, we want to put them at, at the desk. So if they're, if they're up and awake, some of them will be coming from other parts of the world, then we will get them on screen that way. So, um, yeah, very much that way. And. Um, uh, another thing that you can't see if you're at home, but the person can see very clearly from where they are, is this big screen that has your name up if you're asking to speak. So not only does it go on there, but um, the assistant secretary has a laptop, the secretary has a laptop, that, so they can all see these hands raised. So there's, there's a sort of feeling of if there's a weight that's coming from that space, so that, that's going that way. So, in, in some ways it feels like it's easy to see the hands on the, on the Zoom than is the, absolutely. Here, the people who are here. And we've seen it already, haven't we, that a couple of people have come and sat, sat on the yeah. front row and the president hasn't spotted them as yeah. easily because there's <laughs> because people lending to the background. He's looking at the Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, um, there are advantages. Yeah, stuff, just, I mean, of course, um, we just really like everybody to be present. Well, I like everybody. Yeah. But what I most like is to hear everybody sing. I, I apologise for some of the singing that we've been belting <laughs> out today. Um, but it's one of those things we, we planned the worship with a real hope that everybody would. You know, we expect a government regulations to change. Oh, don't. And yeah. all that. And we're all, we've all lived through it. But um, it was a manic weekend, it has to be said, to change yeah. some of the stuff that we've done. You were marinated in prayer Bless by you. a lot of people. So trust me. Okay, just to finish with, um, can you tell us one funny story? 
that's happened. In the conferencing or yeah. just generally? <laughs> Some, something that's happened here that will just make us make us smile a little bit. Mm. Oh, okay. the, the inside, the inside track. You, you are, you are cruel to me. Well, there are there are a number of things. This is not really that funny, but it was enough to keep me awake till two o'clock last night. Sure, which sure. is, um, uh, I wrote to a number of people to say, oh, could you bring some uh, communion racks? Because it's the first time in conference that we've ever used these little communion yeah. glasses because we're yeah. using the chance. Um, and a number of people came up to me yesterday and said, well, I noticed that there weren't many people coming, so I didn't bother bringing one. So I'm, I'm lying awake trying to imagine what we could use instead of, you know, what could I drill holes in and all that type of stuff. So um, we'd got two racks, it was enough for 40 odd people, but of course we have 60 in the room. Uh, and we're playing about with all these different ideas. And uh, we got all the table set up with trays and everything this morning. And then somebody popped along with a rack with 50 gaps, which was too late for Ian to even be bothered to set it up. You know, it's like, I'm not doing that. But some of the things that keep me awake are those stupid things. So people say, well, I didn't think you needed it. There's not so many here. So, you know, that is probably not that funny, but it was enough to make me go, wow, <laughs> Uh, Paul, thank you so much for your time. It's been great to speak to you and you're in our prayers. Thank Bless you. you. Thanks so much. Thank you.